Okay, the first thing I notice is the head shape. And I try to simplify it into basic geometric shapes. So the head shape sort of looks like a square to me and then his hair it's sort of rounded like that start with the eyes His eyes tucked under a large brow, a deep brow. case like this I see what I want to draw but I'm hoping that I could get it in there the way I see it in my mind so his eyebrow is huge or at least compared to mine it's huge so I'm gonna try to exaggerate that And then I also sometimes look at how the hairs run on an eyebrow. If you look, his hairs, they curve over here and then they're running in this direction. And they're fairly thick and dark. Kind of hard to see from this photo, but a brow wrinkle. Here's the bridge of the nose. He also has these wrinkles under his eye. On this other eye, and this photo, it's in shadow, but I actually pulled several photos of him from the internet before starting the drawing. So I consider this kind of a tucked under eye because here's the eye and the eyelid, it fall, it touches the eye, I mean the eye, I don't, the eyeball is what I call it. And, but then it, it separates here. And so the eye is kind of tucked under this flab of flesh here. And then I can recreate that on the other side, but opposite. hair folds over this eyebrow so I'm going to draw a part of the eyebrow so basically I'm just planning for the hair to go there I haven't drawn it yet Also planning for the brow and I've gone past my sketch so you don't always have to stick to your sketch and later on in this drawing at the end of the drawing I may show you a trick that I can sometimes use to know exactly what to ex exaggerate I hadn't thought about this in a while but I watched a video lately that reminded me of it and so keep watching and I'll, I'll bring that back to the end of the video a trick on how to know exactly what to exaggerate so the eye I mean the nose is kind of turned up a little bit and it is wider than a normal nose 
it's actually the nose is pulled closer to the eyes it's it's turned up and the bulb of it is a little wide right and then we're gonna get the uh, the mouth it's kind of it, kind of has a big chin and the mouth is close to the nose so you can draw a big chin and then when you push the mouth closer to the nose it makes the chin look even larger and this is the shape of it and it's kind of wide so we might make it a little wider and then his, his bottom lip his top lip is thin mustache so this is the easy part just drawing some hairs along the shape of where the mustache is and this part of the photo is hidden by a microphone but based on his other photos and what I know of him I'm just gonna finish the mustache over here plus it's just a practice drawing Um, usually there's a, a ledge under some people's bottom lip and hit the ledge underneath his lip has a lot of hairs on it sort of like an island of hairs there okay now this wrinkle his is kind of distinctive it goes down it pops out like that this one above down pops out and I'm making an effort to make these lines straight because I, I don't know I think it'll look cool okay now we're gonna get out my big marker and try to draw a confident chin and big brow cheek kind of a popped out jaw connecting to the chin same thing on this side forehead shows on over here now we get to draw that fun hair swoop everybody loves to draw a swoop you just go boom like that you can add a couple hairs to it too and then you can finish that shape with a couple on top now we're gonna draw the hair and I'm gonna try to add straights and curves to it straight line there try not to overthink it sometimes it's just best to let it happen by accident okay now we're going to finish the hairs on the the beard I'm trying to stylize it which means like not draw it perfectly as if it was photographic but just like some cartoon style like what if he was a, a Disney character or from a Saturday morning cartoon so here's there's an ear down here which I forgot to draw but there's plenty of space in here to draw it so start off with the, the hair near the sideburn we'll put it an ear in there ear 
here on this side and some hair to cover it up. Now we're going to, I'm just going to draw some thin lines. I want them to be a lot thinner than these because I don't want them to stand out, but I'm basically just showing the direction of the hair. And I don't want my lines to be perfectly spaced like I just did. I want them to be random but clean. And when I say clean, I mean not crossing over each other. Like one, two, three, one, one, two, three. It's sort of random. Sometimes I'm curving out like this. Other times I'll be curving down like that. Okay, and there it is, a quick caricature of Peter Dinklage. Okay, now the secret I promised. This is a drawing of an average person. The proportions are average, and this is the photo of Peter Dinklage. Now do something with me. Take your eyes and look left, then right, then left, then right, then left, then right, then left, then right and you will see the differences begin to pop out to your eyes. It will become almost like an animated slideshow, looking left and right, then left and right, and then do the same with each of the features. Look at the eyes or the eyebrows, left and right, left and right, left and right. Do you see anything popping out? And when you put an average drawing right next to the photo of your subject, you will clearly see what needs to be exaggerated. What you're looking for is the differences between the average and your subject. 